Are you awake? Are you awake? Because if you're not awake, then you should attend Awake. Actually, Awake is a really cool thing that's happening on March 2nd, 8.30 to 4 o'clock, and it's for educators. It's for Christians who work in education. So if you are a Christian who works in education, whether it be in, in private or public education, and you would like to gather with others that are doing the same thing, then you should come March 2nd, 8.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon to, it's, it's a place called First Call Home Health at Jordan Crossing. So you can look that up and find the place, but you'll wanna get registered because there's a small fee to get started and to attend. Uh, it's a one day event and it has breakfast and lunch included. It's an opportunity for educators to get together care for one another, talk about caring for children, talking about being Christians in a public space and what that looks like, and encourage one another. So March 2nd, 8.30 to 4, awake. And uh, Beth Freeborn, who is one of our own members, is gonna be your contact for that. So you could reach out to her for contact. Another awesome event we have coming up is our high school half dayer. If you're a high schooler at either the South Campus or the Kaiser Campus, come join us. It'll be on March 9th from noon to five o'clock, and then there'll be a little bit of a hangout after. We're gonna be doing uh, training and evangelism, and then we're gonna go out, have lunch, and practice. Then we're gonna come back together at the Kaiser Campus, share stories, do some worship, um, and, and then hang out at different parents' houses afterward. Uh, so that'll be at the Kaiser Campus, and eighth grade through high school is invited. I'm finding out something while I listen to these announcements. I didn't know it was going to be an evangelism event as well. Yeah, That's super cool. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, so come and get equipped. Mm -hmm. Another place to get equipped is at our men's breakfast. Um, we have our very own Pat Bailey coming, and he is an old Oregon State baseball coach, currently on staff with Fellowship of Christian Athletes. He's kind of my boss, um, so I'm a little bit partial to him, but he is well known as one of the best college mm. coaches and recruiting coordinators in all of college baseball history. Mm. He won two national championships, one with Oregon State, one with George Fox. Um, so, And then there's also going to be something else exciting that they're going to be doing at this men's breakfast. Yes, at the men's breakfast, they're also going to be making the drawing for the boat. If you were at our last men's breakfast, you know that there's a boat that's being raffled off and all of the money that comes in for that is going to missions in Ukraine where we're sending some teams to build some homes. So if you put in a raffle ticket, you're going to want to come to this men's breakfast because your name might be pulled. And if you haven't put in a ticket, I believe you could still do that on the day. So. so come, buy a ticket, possibly win a boat, talk to Pat Bailey, a come champion on. baseball coach. Uh, eat some good food. There's going to be some really good food there. I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't come unless maybe you weren't registered for the event. Please you weren't registered register for the event <laughs> or possibly you're a woman. So if you're a woman, I'll give you a pass. You don't have to come. But if you're a man, what are you doing? Come to our men's breakfast. I'm starting to worry about you. I'll give you a call. I, I think we need to talk. Am I... How am I doing on these announcements? Am I nailing them? Loving it, thank you. <laughs> Great. Okay, the other, the other thing we want to tell you about is Easter is coming. This should not be a surprise to you. Easter comes every year. But what might be news to you is that, man, at Easter, churches really fill up. A lot of people that don't attend any other time of the year come on Easter, and that's because you might have even invited them. But that means, man, we need a bigger team to care for all the people that come. So if you would like to join the team just on a trial basis, like just for Easter, then why don't you join the team and be a part of our ushers and greeters and hospitality and the people that get our, our communion ready and all that stuff that happens on a, on a regular Sunday. Join the team. You can go online. You can register to, to be a part of one of those teams and, and do that with us. Also, in front of Easter is Good Friday, and in front of Good Friday is Stations of the Cross. So there's actually three things you can register for and come be a part of. Uh, to volunteer and to care for the community. So don't be surprised. Easter's on the way. Come to men's breakfast, if indeed you are a man. If you're in high school on either campus, half day. You got to go to this half day thing. If you're a Christian educator, you need to be at awake. I think, we're, I think we nailed the announcements this time, guys. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. See yeah. you on Sunday. See you guys Sunday.